In this tutorial using R, we're going to create some distributions of random data points, and then we're going to use a clustering technique to see if you can find the groups of data points that we've created. First step is for me to save my graphical parameters. Now I'm going to do multiple figures in rows one row, three columns, and I'm going to set some outer margins. Now I'm going to create some distributions. Now in this fictitious data set here that we're going to be creating, we're going to imagine that there are three attributes. We're going to imagine there's the attribute called speed, there's one called cycles, and then another one we'll call where. We're just making up this data, so it doesn't really matter. But let's imagine it's some kind of vehicle. And, um, and we're going to create a data set that has 300 observations in total. And it's going to be split between three groups. So it's going to be 100 observations in each of the groups, totaling 300 observations. So first, we're going to create um, we're going to create an R norm. That's random points on a normal Gaussian distribution. And R norm takes the number of points we want to create a hundred because we're, we're what we're working with now is the first attribute for the first group. We want to create a hundred points, and we want to create a mean. Let's pick for this group. We'll say there's a, their mean speed is seventy, and they have a standard distribution of fifteen. Now, if you want to see what that looks like, let's take a look. S one should give me a hundred points. And these points that are randomly selected have a mean of 70, a standard distribution of 15. If I was actually to go run that again and then look at it, it would give me a different set of points. Every time I run it, it's going to give me a different set of points because it's R norm is random points on a normal distribution. Okay, so now we did we came up with the speed values for the group number one. Now come up with, now let's do the speed value for group 2. And let's give them a, a mean speed of 90 and a standard distribution of 6. Now let's see the third group. They get a mean score of, a mean speed of 20 with a tight standard distribution of 4. Okay, I did something wrong there. And there we go. Okay, now we're going to work on our second attribute. We'll call it cycles. So the cycles attribute for the first group. Let's, instead of using the Gaussian distribution this time, let's use the binomial distribution to create our data points. So that, it's, it's the same form, but it's our binome. And that also starts with n. So we want 100 observations. And then binomial, uh, we're going to do, well, size, we really, if I put in three here, it's going to then give me values one, two, or three. And what's the probability that we get a three? Well, let's say for these guys, it's a 0. 0.6. I'm going to take a look at that. That's what those 100 points look like. I'm sorry, it, that gives you a value of 0, 1, 2, or 3 if I put in three there. Uh, okay, so now we're going to do, let me make this easier for myself here. We're going to create a second group. And let's, let's say that for the second group, the probability of getting a 3 is, a, is 40%. And let's say for the third group, the probability of getting a 3 is 80%. So let's take a look at C2. 
and C3. Okay, now we're going to work on the third attribute. A third attribute we're, we're calling a where. So W1, no, I'm going to do it a different way. Um, so for this one, instead of using the Gaussian or the binomial, let's use the chi-square distribution to, to create our fictitious data points here. So that's R chi-square, you need 100 observations for group 1, and chi-square goes on the degrees of freedom, which really when you're running that relates to the number of groups, but we're just picking random numbers here in order to get some random numbers out. So let's say 5. And then we'll set that to W1. And then for W2, let's say 4. And for W3, let's say 7. So if you want to see what that looks like, there's W1. Oops, there's W2. OK. So now we've gotten all of the data points. We've gotten basically 300 data points for each of three attributes. Now the next thing I'm going to do is come up with it, a vector that simply has the, the group number in it. We, we know we just created three different groups of 100 observations each um, having different characteristics. So I'm going to concatenate uh, a repetition of the number 1 a hundred times. I'm going to concatenate that with the number 2 a hundred times. I'm going to concatenate that with repetition of the number 3 a hundred times. That's what that looks like. On our vector of 300 observations, we know the first hundred belong to some group we call 1, the second hundred belong to some group we call 2, the third hundred belong to some group we'll call 3. Okay, now it's time to concatenate each of the three groups for each of the attributes. So for speed, we're going to put together S1, S2, and S3 that we created above. So speed, there's our 300 points. Cycle, and where. Now we're going to put it all together into a data frame that we'll call uh, x. And the data frame is going to have four columns. First one is speed. And it's going to be set to the vector of 300 points from above. Same with cycle. Same with where. There. And then the fourth column is going to have our group number. So let's have a look at just the header rows of what we just created. There's our, uh, there's our data frame. Here's the first six rows of four columns. Speed, cycle, where, and these of course are all group number one. I could of course look at the tail of it and that would be group three. And you, you can see here that these have a, a higher mean of speed and these have a lower mean of speed. Remember I think this one was around centered around 20 and this group one it's centered around oh, I don't know what was it like 70. Okay so now we have our data set. 